So now let's work with the face a little bit. I'm gonna do a couple ovals for the eyes. Let's zoom in close so we can see there. Click and drag across and switch to the selection tool. I can do that by pressing V and get that where I want it. I can even tilt it a little bit if I need to. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to actually just copy and paste this and set it right next to and some smaller ovals for the eyes. There we go. I'm going to switch to the pen tool here and make this mouth. Hold down Alt to change direction and finish that shape. Now here's a cool trick for you. I'm going to copy it. Command C, Command V to paste and I'm going to turn this around. Make it smaller and there you have the top of the mouth. Things are looking a little bit confusing around here, so we're going to start filling in some colors. Start with the head, and I'm going to turn my stroke off, so I don't want to have a stroke. And I'm going to find myself a nice gold color for his head. I am not liking that. Let's try that again, something a little bit more bright, I think. Let's try that. That's better. And let's do a black for the body. All right. Now I have a problem here that the face is behind the body. What we're going to do is just right click on that body and go to arrange and send to back. And now it's where we want it to be. We want these two shapes to also be gold, like the head is gold. So a really easy way to do that is to use this eyedropper tool right here. If I click on that, I have this shape selected. And I'm going to click on the one that I want to copy. I want this shape to look exactly like the color of the head. So I just click there and that's all that I need to do. I don't need to go in and find the color and change it. I want to do the same thing for this one, but I have to switch to my selection tool. Press V, select the new selection, and I'm going to use I to find my eyedropper and click on the new selection. Okay, and that gives us a start there. And I'm noticing that this looks a little weird, so I'm going to go ahead and come in here with my direct selection tool and move that around until it looks better. That's better. I'm going to do that here too, I think. The nice thing about Illustrator is that nothing is ever set in stone. You don't have to stick with something. You can always adjust it. Okay, happy with that. Moving on to the eyes. Probably these ones we do want to have an outline, but we probably don't want it to be this bright green color. So let's switch that to black. And we probably want to have a white fill on that. There it is. Okay. Click on my other eyeball, use my handy dandy eyedropper tool. And there we are. Let's select those pupils and probably no fill again and make it black. Okay. Again, select and get your eyedropper. Use that puppy. Switch by pressing V and select your mouth. Select I to get the eyedropper, click on the 
pupil and then do the same thing again for this little cheek indention.